one of the things is a new baby coming into the world, um, a grandbaby. So wow. um, I, I get the sense that it's a very special soul. So I kind of like to kind of ask about my own uh, grandbaby, but also about the beautiful souls that are now entering. And I find it particularly interesting, those souls that maybe are in this year of 2020 and being coming into the into the physical world in the midst of this, um, you know, virus and this shifting mm -hmm. and so, mm -hmm. yeah. Sure, well, it's very exciting and we're, we're excited for you. Congratulations and congratulations on the, the arrival of the little one. Um, there is much that we want to say about this, but we're going we're gonna to start here with this. Every, so there's, there's babies being born right now, right this second. Right. And the babies that are being born right now, this second, are up to speed with all of the energy of right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, meaning everything that we've explained, everything that all of that, they're up to speed with for right now. Because each generation, the generations before ask, and then usually they, they're so busy reacting that they don't get in, out of the way and don't receive what they're asking. But the babies who are being born receive exactly what the other generations are asking for. So one of the examples that, that Ed likes to use is when he was a kid, he wanted to fly. There was a lot of superhero stuff and everything, and just flying seemed like a really cool thing. And there wasn't a lot of that going on at the time. Now, after that, they started inventing skateboards and BMX bikes and things like that. But Ed remembers the first time he saw somebody fly. Now, we don't know if you're familiar with sports, but Michael Jordan would start jumping at the foul line and he would fly through the air and dunk the ball. So that's... Um, 12, 14 feet that he would fly through the air and dunk the ball. And Ed clearly remembers seeing that and saying, that guy can fly. And then since then, it's the kids with the skateboards flipping through the air and on the bikes. And on, if you've seen the X Games, they're flying through the air and twisting and turning and the skiers with the jumping and everything. Those people can fly. And now there's even people with the suits that jump off the side of cliffs with nothing else, no parachute, just the suit shoot, and they fly down the side so people can fly. So the Ed's generation asked, and the generations after that were answered and can fly. So everything that has been asked for, the children who are being born right now have the answers to. Another way you would experience that is, is if you have trouble with your computer and the joke is go find a 10-year-old. Right. And again, they go, bup, 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 there you go. What's the problem? Because they're up to speed with, <laughs> with the computers. And so everybody who is being born is up to speed with that. Now, it is an interesting time to be born. Mm -hmm. And we know that you would like us to pronounce these children who are being born now as special. Mm -hmm. And are they more special than the children who were born in the Great Depression? Are they more special than the children who were born in London during World War II when London was being bombed? Are they more special than, are they more special than? And the answer is yes and no. Mm -hmm. They're more in alignment with what's coming. They're more in alignment with the ascension they're more in their hearts. They're not polarized. So their experience is going to be going to be a generation gap. Yes, there is. Because they come in up to speed to what's going on. And the parents and the grandparents are usually lagging behind. And that's what the generation gap really is. It's a vibrational, it's an energetic thing. Mm -hmm. They are the harbingers of the new earth but then so are you and so is everybody else on this right. program everybody else on this earth are the harbingers so yes the baby is very special but no more special than everybody else but the interesting thing about it 
is, is they're coming in up to speed to that exact moment when they get there, and then they're running the energy forward from there. Now, we think, because we're big and they're little, that it's our job to teach them. So we have a question for you. Do you know anything about reincarnation? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, good, perfect, good. So here's the question. When you make your transition and you decide to come back, are you the full-grown you from right now, a full-grown spirit with all your wisdom, all your knowledge, and everything from all the past lives, or are you a little baby again? You're a little baby again with a lot of that. <laughs> so here's the answer. Their body is small, but they are a full-grown soul. Exactly. They're not little at all. Everything from their previous experiences is still right there with them. Now, their brain doesn't function the way an adult brain does, so that takes time for all of that. But they are still that full-grown spirit, and they're coming back to remind you what you forgot. Hmm. What did we tell you earlier? Can, um, eat, sleep, and poop. No hair, no teeth, can't walk. And they're bundles of joy. They're happy. They're delighted. Their light is shining. They're fully their spirit. And they're to remind the big people to be fully their spirit, to delight, to find the joy in the simple things, to stay in alignment and stay connected. It is... The, the children that are being born now are special in this regard. They are not willing to be taught out of who they are spiritually, where the generations mm -hmm. previous, we were more easily talked out of who we were. Yeah. These children will not be talked out of who they are. Mm. They know. And um, it's interesting from an adult uh, a point of view, they refer to the children as precocious or the children are, they're, they're, they're set in their ways and they're, they're troublemakers and they're renegades and they're all because they won't conform and they won't go. Well, of course not because they remember who they are and they remember that while they're still more connected to source, mm -hmm. they're more right than the adult is. And the adults don't like to hear that, but, that's the truth. So grandma, who has an understanding of this, who has, will have that connection with this child immediately because of this understanding, will be a champion for this child to help them through the, the, the learning, the growing, and the acclimating and help them remember who they are, help them remember to be the spirit who they really are, so that it's not so easily taught out of them as it was for us. So you will be that child's champion. You will be that child's advocate. So that makes you just as special as that child. No pressure. <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. That's beautiful. You're welcome.